Peace, family. Peace. Um, I was just thinking, and something just dawned on me, and I've got to say it now before I kind of forget the analogy. I don't know if anyone has seen the Manchurian Candidate. Um, the newer film uh, was with Denzel Washington, the Manchurian Candidate, um, but there's an older version. The reason why I'm talking about the Manchurian Candidate is because if you remember the film, um, the Manchurian Candidate is a, is a soldier or an ex-soldier who has been programmed to basically to kill when he hears a certain set of words and commands okay so for instance he lives a normal life but he doesn't know that he's actually a trained killer um, he won't remember the event um, but he will kill if he hears a certain set of commands so if the you know if he hears two four yellow five seven right then his brain will click on to this manchurian candidate um scenario and he'd get his gun and shoot who he wants and i watched again what happened at speaker's corner the other day and i watched um muhammad taweed scream some words the words were allahu akbar Takbir, who wants it with the Muslims, right? And he kept on repeating these words. And interestingly, interestingly, there were two Manchurian candidates who were activated by those words. The two Somali individuals were activated by those words and were going inside their bag looking as if they were going to get something out to actually stab Jedi with or something along those lines. And it just made me think, hmm... Are we living amongst Manchurian candidates? Obviously not as conspiratorial as a film. However, words have power. They have the power to activate you, just like the Manchurian candidate was activated by those words, to kill. And I asked myself a question. I said, hang on a minute. If the call for jihad came, would those candidates do that? Would the majority of people around here who adhere to this ideology, would they do that? Would they kill for their ideology? I've heard, and then, and then I go back to conversations that I've had with Muslims, and I've heard them say themselves, we love the Prophet Muhammad more than we love our own mothers and fathers. And I said, but so hang on a minute. So if there was a call for the Prophet Muhammad against your mother and father, you would, what, kill your own mother and father for the Prophet Muhammad? When's, if and when that call comes, certain people are willing to kill their own mother and father. Manchurian candidates. And so, I just want to leave you with that, um, with that thought. That if you, if, if you have a bunch of people around you who can be activated, just like Manchurian Candidate was, by a certain set of words, then my friends, <laughs> my dear friends, you are living amongst a very dangerous people. Because all it takes is for those activation words to be spoken and some shit's gonna go down, okay? So I want people to actually think about these things. And um, yeah, it was just something that was on my mind. It was something that, as a matter of fact, Big Bro kind of um, alluded to. And I was sitting down thinking about it and I was just like, that's very true. Like people can be activated by words. And that is not conspiratorial. Like, if I say those words, we saw what happened when those words were spoken. Manchurian candidates. Hmm. Peace, family. Peace.